Hi, I'm Chachi, the worship director at Grace Point Church. It is an absolute honor to be going through these devotionals with you on the names of God. Today's name of God is El Roy, the God who sees. When we're not doing well, or maybe even doing things we're not necessarily proud of, we'd prefer to go unnoticed. But no one wants to be overlooked when life's unraveling. This brings me to the story of Hagar. Hagar's story is for anyone who's ever felt invisible. Everything changed for this Egyptian servant's life when she was given by her barren mistress Sarai to Abram in order to conceive an heir for him. Hagar's affection for Sarai quickly morphed into condescension once Hagar became pregnant with Abram's child. It led to abusive behavior at the hands of Sarai. And when the harassment became intolerable, Hagar abruptly fled into the wilderness without food, money, water, or a plan, trudging all alone and pregnant through a desert wasteland, no doubt feeling forgotten. Hagar stumbled upon a desert spring. When she stopped to drink, she found more than just refreshing water. The Lord met her there. He reassured her with lavish promises. He promised that her son would live and become a father of descendants too numerous to count. He then sent her back home, filled and strengthened with new hope. In Genesis 16, 13, Hagar says, You are the God who sees me. I've now seen the one who sees me. I always come back to this name of God, Elroy. Implicit in this name is God's overriding compassion, that when Hagar had no idea where to go or what to do next, she was reminded that God is real, that he sees the needs of his children, and he draws near to help. The God who sees doesn't just glance our way long and hard. He studies the difficulties we face, and then he acts. Do you ever feel like you're alone, that nobody really sees, much less understands the troubles you're facing? Maybe you feel like injustice is rampant in your life, or maybe you feel abandoned or betrayed by people you thought loved you. Even in such dark times, trust that God is Elroy. He sees, but more importantly, know that he sees you. He looks intently. He notices every detail of your situation. He studies everything and misses absolutely nothing. While others may overlook you, they'll forget you or walk out on you, God never will. And because he sees you, he knows what you need and gladly provides the comfort you're looking for. Do you see Elroy, the God who sees you? Some moments in life can be like the desert wasteland Hagar experienced. But what area of life is that for you right now? Where do you feel most helpless and alone? And in what ways would it comfort you to know that God sees and intimately knows your situation? 